is 5.30, so I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, we'll start out with Paul Pick. Alderperson Heidemann. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Here. Alderperson Salazar. Here. Okay, and then we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, all righty, I think everyone knows everyone here, so I think we're going to skip introductions. Um, oh, there's, a, oh, there's someone in the corner. Okay, um, I guess we'll go then. We will do quick, quick introductions. I guess you didn't see the Douglas hat. I live on the lower falls or across from the river. I live in my parents' home. The Rob construction from the Hill School of Church is in factories here for 30 years. My name is Jeff Robert Fry. Some of you might know me. I'm here as a concerned citizen from the town of Sheboygan, and I've lived there all my life in two houses, two acres, 4,000 square feet. So I have a view of the river barrens and the river bend, and I know a few people in the world. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Okay. Well, uh, well I'll, I'll, I'm Dee Decker. I'm the chair of the committee, or person from District 6. Uh, Amanda Seller, uh, all the person from District 3. Joy, District 10, Southside. Uh, Zach Russ, District 8, Vice Chair. Angela Ramey, District 5. Uh, Joel Holtz, DPW. Mike Holmes, DPW. Ryan Sosma, DPW. Stacey Wesseljack, DPW. Heather Burke, DPW. And David Beeble, Public Works. All right, um, we'll do that. Well, we'll go with the approval of minutes from uh, November 29th. It's been a while since we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> I move to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any uh, discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair sure, votes aye. Those are approved. Uh, items for discussion possible. Item uh, number six, resolution 117. 2223, January 4th, 2023, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Dorner Incorporated for the construction of the Broadway Reconstruction Project. Uh, to start this off, I also, um, when we do make a resolution, there is going to be some changes on it. Okay, go ahead, Director. I'm going to, to, to defer this to City Engineer Mr. Sassman tonight. As okay. part of their, their team has worked on the plans on this project and they <clears throat> go through this plan and I'll run the uh, computers. Okay. As part of the uh, 2023 capital improvement projects, this road is marked to get reconstructed this year. Broadway Avenue, all the way pretty much from 14th Street, all the way down to 7th Street. And during, as part of the reconstruction process, please Work several years ago, like advising all the underground utility machine. So with this project, we're going to be replacing uh, the underground sanitary sewer, the underground storm sewer. We're going to be uh, at all the intersections, replacing all the sidewalk to make the, the sidewalk, the crosswalks, ADA, and also putting a new curb and gutter and a brand new road surface. And because we, a lot of the utilities are, are are 100 years old, which might have to be replaced. Whenever you put a new road surface on, you always look at the utilities and make sure make sure you fix that if you're putting a new road up or constructing a new road. And um, like I said, it's, it's the, the water utility was in here probably five, six years ago. They replaced all the uh, water main and the water services. So now we're going back two years later to, to replace all the other utilities. And because we're doing all that underground work, which explains why this project is three and a half million dollars. It's not just a resurfacing project like North Avenue, something like that, or St. Clair Avenue that we did last year. It's a lot of utility underground work. Uh, Broadway is a street that collects a lot of the rainwater from all the surrounding streets and a lot of the sanitary sewer from the surrounding streets. So the, the pipe is really big. So that's why that's why you have a price here of three and a half million dollars. And it's a nice project. That's why that's why we had six six bids on this from, from six major companies. Like I said, it was part of the capital improvements, and um, it came it came with the budget from all the several different accounts. So, any questions at all? Um, okay. Yeah. Matt, go ahead. What are the old sewers made out of? Uh, some old, some of the sanitary sewers brick as a brick sewer. You brick sewer. Brick going around. Just going to replace it with like a plastic, concrete, concrete, oh, concrete. And, and, yeah, and plastic. Sure. Combination of both. The storm okay. sewer will be replaced with concrete. And how long will people not have like? Sewage service. Oh, it'll just be temporarily. Temp I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe I 
it out or something. Okay. Unless, right. unless, unless there's some kind of issue, but the contractor will, like that day will go to the to the hotel and give them give them okay. a heads up. Sure. That the water's gonna be shut off for a little bit. And, and, and have you worked with Dornier before? Oh yeah, I mean, okay. it's forever. Okay. That's a, it's a good company. Any other? No. Uh, what's the time frame? That's um, well, the, the, well, from what I was told from Dornier, the minute the minute the frost gets out of the ground, which I'm always guessing right around the middle of March. They're going to come in here. It's going to take all the summer and, and a good portion of the fall to okay. get this completed. So that's about how long they're going to be. Right. Those people are going to have to deal with that. The other thing that, that and again, you you guys don't deal with change orders anymore or anything. You ever, you ever remember that term? Where the, sure, we do. Sure. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you rather so, not to, but so, you do. So <laughs> with, 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 a, with, a, with a price tag like this here, does that give a, um, do you have an adjustment? Do you have room in there for change orders or that this is going to be is that in the bid process it's it's part of our our ordinance and part of our contract requirements we have the ability to go up to 15 percent of the total value of in change orders on the project and what's built in we, we we when we go through our capital improvements process we we factor that in with the with the price although the contract tonight is awarded to this mm -hmm. there is the ability to go up to 15 percent above that account that line item for the contract now if it goes above that and there's other concerns and there's something that's unknown that we come back to this committee and say uh we have an issue and it's it's we're going to be approaching 20 25 percent above the original contract value right. we need your approval to go through that typically when it comes to that point i mean we we <clears throat> do everything in our in our due diligence and our early engineering process and and to gain on that to avoid that. Right. But every once in a while it happens, and that's why you probably haven't seen change orders come to the committee because we we've been able to manage that and keep at a good level budget. In other words, is this company that we're working? Have they ever come in under budget? Well, it, well, you can it, it's, it in. sure. There's 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 line items, for instance, that it, it's a line item contract, so it's not a lump sum. Okay. So we pay for exactly what, so there's so many feet of pipe that we pay for, and sometimes, depending upon project, less pipe is needed. There you go. And then we pay less. Uh, okay. Or the quantities that we've estimated for curb and gutter, for instance, or sidewalk repair. Sometimes the square footage is less, and we pay less. We only pay for what... The work is it's not like i'm going to give you three million for the job and you owe me three million regardless of what i do we actually go to as bills we measure up the quantities we verify their quantities from their bid sheet and their their invoices to what we see is actually in the field and we see, and there's sometimes we say uh you're you're 100 feet over what's going on here and we say we're using our numbers and they, they, they go okay our bad in, in no portion of this contract are our city employees working on this project? No, we're, we not, just, we're we, not doing any prep work. We're not um, grinding. We're not digging. We're not doing anything. I think this is all contract. No, right? right. Any trees that are coming down, we have the contract to do and stuff like that. And on a project this size, okay. Some some projects will do some prep work. No, no, I know. But not not on this one. Gotcha. Okay. And you can see uh, from the prices here, Dorner wanted this project pretty bad. They're at three point five million. Everyone else is at. 4.2, yeah. 4.3, so it's good It's good pricing. Yeah. Got it. I was going to ask about that, the pricing. Mm -hmm. So the pricing is specifically because they wanted the project with yeah, the city? Right. Not that, I mean, I guess it doesn't, would it, when you're selecting, let's say you've never worked with them before, do you still take the lowest one? Is that how it requires here? Yes. It, it is. However, they have to be, be pre-qualified. They, they have to submit what's called a bidder's proof of responsibility. Okay. Five days, and then Ryan and our staff, we review okay. their qualifications, their past work, okay. um, if they're solvent, if they've had any projects that they went and sure. they've defaulted on. So that we, we there's a process to go through that. Otherwise, they would not be allowed to bid. Got it. And they have to get bonded. So a bond company's not going to give them a bond for yeah. this kind of money. Say, well, we're not going to share that. There's yeah. no way yep. you can do that. Okay. Well, that's, not, that's not the problem. Great, answered yeah. all my questions. <clears throat> yeah, the floor is it? Um, I guess it's kind of unusual, but uh, if you have one quick question. Uh, uh, there's a line of sight on South 12th Street, the southwest corner, the building. Then uh, I'd like to talk about the church and the park at the end of the floor. Okay. 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 Ok
that has to do with the street or specifically the church and the park? Uh, southwest corner of Broadway and 12. Across the street, Barbara and Bar and the hairdresser on yeah. the street. Th this building? Uh, next to the fucking yep. bike shop. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. Isn't yeah, that okay. a line of sight that you're doing? Is that okay with you guys? Line of sight when you're going uh, north on, on 12th Street. We're doing and, David there. You're looking, you're looking toward uh, west on Broadway. Is that, that's the line of sight right up to the right up to the drive, uh, right up to the sidewalk there. Right here, you're saying? Yeah. Is that line of sight okay with you guys? It, it's it's pre-existing. Yeah. Um, it's probably within the, the what we define as a vision triangle, but it's a four-way stop. Yeah. So all it's an all-stop condition. So in that case, it would be allowed. And the businesses are going to have access to the, the, you know, all that. And then the second thing is uh, the church in 10th and Broadway. Uh, it's 11th and Broadway. My grandfather built it. It was always the Golden Cordillers. We moved to the Concordia Singers. But I, is there a head start in there yet with kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I guess I, I would caution you to do something with it, make sure it's safe for kids. And then all the way to the, the end, the park at the end, overlooking the lake. Are you going to be Kingsford, touching that uh, east of, uh, of um, all the way to the end? I think uh, Smith Park, which my dad, the, uh, all the way to the cross Lakeshore Drive. Yeah. I think the park's down there yeah. around the yeah. corner. It's a beautiful park you guys put together there. I sit there and you can walk the beach. You can sit there and, and eat your lunch. There's about parking for about six cars. And yeah. I see that that's already, and that's. Very many yeah, that's a, something that okay, that's all I got. Okay, thank you. All right, so, so that area is all included in the project because it's on yes. I don't know, up two sevenths, and that's on the east side of seventh, right? To this, okay. to right? Because okay. the next, this, the section right here where I'm on right now yeah. is is actually part of so this part of this interceptor project. interceptor project, oh, yeah. And that that yeah. may it's where it sounds like the funding is, is going to be released this year. And as soon as we get authorization from the state of Wisconsin with the funding, because we have all the permitting, the DNRs permitted that project as well as the Corps of Engineers. And once that happens, we'll come back with bids and so forth and go through that process. Yeah, so that, that's excellent. Good but that, that's not part of this project at this point. Yeah. Well, this, this is a really nice project for, for the area. It's yes. really, it's be, and, yeah, it's a, it's a good street. Yeah, it's, it's needed it's, for a while. It's needed. Yeah. It's needed. Mm -hmm. All right. How do the if, uh, uh, residents get informed about the street closure? Once you once you approve this, okay. we'll send we'll send letters out okay. and uh, emails on there and and, and we'll, I mean, I don't think we'll probably have a public informational one, but people will call. It's it's better to meet with them individually. Sure. And we're not we're not assessing for any of this, so that's that's huge. Year, years ago, when we used to assess for roads, you actually have to have an assessment hearing, yeah. like in the council yeah. chambers and that kind of stuff. But now now yeah. it's not. we also have. With the contractor, once we get approval with them, part of their process is they have to come down. We would have, we have what's called a pre-construction meeting. Mm -hmm. They give us their schedule, how they're going to, where they're going to start, when, the, what dates, and so then once we have that information, we can also then invite an invitation to the neighbors along here and saying, "This is the plan. We're going to do letter drops. This is how we're going to." Uh, that you get access to your house and driveway there may be times where it be interrupted but we're going to give you advanced notice on that yeah so just this, just because from in that area right a lot there are a lot of um upstairs downstairs right mm -hmm. a lot of flats mm -hmm. and so i just want to be mindful of like it isn't it isn't five houses and five cars right. it could be you know mm -hmm. five houses and maybe 12 13 15 uh, cars right uh, depending if they have a roommate or if they're all living yeah. there, right so yeah. it's just your um, some of these places don't have driveways, and so then the alleys are not <laughs> great there in that district as well. So I just want to be mindful of explaining that to the residents. Right. And, and typically, what they'll do is they they'll go block by block. It's not going to be the entire length yeah. all ripped up at once. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yet they will. There'll be at times different types of work. They might want a different. Crew might be doing like that, something on in one end and another, but in, in the entire stretch, those should be access for lo the local residents in this area. That is construction. And also here, it's, it's the mail mail deliveries is is uh, delivered by hand, so the sidewalks aren't going to get aren't going to get tore up. So that's yeah. not going to be an issue. In garbage collection, a lot of times if the road is kind of rough, we'll send a guard 
like a pickup truck down the road instead of picking up and stuff it. like okay, that. Okay. So we'll work around all Great. that. Great. Yeah. Mostly do residents, all the activity they've seen from our department the last couple of years, we've gotten a lot of phone calls. So especially the businesses, they're all up to speed on what's what's going on here. But we'll get into a lot more detail with them. Yeah, after, I, I'm not after worried after about. Gets approved. Yeah, I'm not worried about the businesses. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about the, the people that live in this in this area, right? That are not that uh, maybe don't, their first language is in English. Mm -hmm. They Right, you're near Sheridan School, you're near Longfellow, so to be mindful of sort of residents you're yeah. communicating with. Will we send to the residents and also to the property owners, say the landlords, the absentee okay. landlords, we, we, we you communicate do both. with everyone. Yeah, we do both. You do, okay. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, any other discussion on this? Okay, um, before we make a motion, I guess we're gonna, I'm going to read it out the way it's going to have to be resolved. Um, it's going to be with that resolution that we read, but then it's also going to be further resolved that the appropriate city officials are authorized to draw funds from the following accounts upon the agreement being fully executed by all parties to pay for the construction done pursuant to the agreement. Account number 4003006412001200 Capital Projects Public Streets Public Works Streets Improvement 3 million $539,917.77. Account number 2020006412000 Federal Grants Fund Street Improvements, $1 million. Okay. <laughs> That's, so that, 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 is the amend, that, that, that is the amended agreement. So if you were to view it, Make a motion for the amended agreement. I move to approve the resolution with the amended agreement. I'll second. Okay, motion is made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair sure, votes well, aye. We are approved on that. Okay, next meeting date is January 24th, 2023. Um, looking for a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Your turn. Thank you very much. Does anybody